The largest solar energy farm in the Midwest was unveiled on August 19th in Upper Sandusky, Ohio, powering the state's drive to become a leader in renewable energy. Working together in a very bipartisan way, uh, Republicans and Democrats alike in Columbus, Ohio, we passed an electricity restructuring bill that gives Ohio a strong, renewable, and advanced energy portfolio standard, one of the strongest we believe in the country. The state of Ohio, like many states in this country, have decided to step up to the plate and have some requirement for renewables in the energy mix with the local utilities. Solar was specifically carved out, and AEP Ohio, one of the local utilities, decided they were going to go out and purchase in a long-term contract some solar for their customers to meet this requirement. Um, they opened it up to bid. Our uh, bid was the winning bid, and we started construction on this plant last year in November, and we completed it a couple months ahead of schedule. It was online and operating this May. The 12 megawatt Wyandotte Solar Energy Project includes 159,000 ground-mounted solar panels on 80 acres. It can yield enough clean energy to keep the lights on and the air conditioners humming at more than 9,000 homes when the sun is shining. We look for sites that have either been damaged or they've been used for agricultural purposes and, and the folks are interested in a different type of crop. We look to employ the local folks. We had 60 people here at the peak during construction and the majority of them came from this area, from Ohio. And so in, in that way, we're only not only providing short-term employment, we're providing revenue for the use of the land over an extended period of time, but we're training people in skills that are going to be increasingly in demand as time goes on in this country. And ultimately, what, what has happened here is this partnership that has allowed Extension to work hand-in-hand -hand with economic development has given us an opportunity where we now have a, a good understanding of what renewable energy developers are looking for in a solar project. So we can help communities, uh, once they get to that point, understand what types of, of sites may actually be uh, beneficial or counterproductive to what the solar developers are looking for. And really, ultimately, the goal is to help Ohio communities get from the, the concept phase to completion phase as quickly as possible. We have got to the point right now where the, the local input has been tremendous on this particular project and a lot of that is due to the way it has been portrayed through OSU Extension. Ohio State University Extension has been a key partner in the development of the farm, helping Wyandotte County officials in organizing public forums and studying the viability of this novel project. For Comtech Digital Media, I'm John Rice.